Hey guys, so today is the long awaited video of my baby's nursery tour. We finally got everything pretty much finished in her room. We had our last shower this last weekend, so we still have a few things that we need to get. Um, a lot of people gave us gift cards and money, which has come in handy getting those last minute things, um, especially the big things that you know kind of hang out on your registry. But anyway, so this is her room, mostly finished pretty much finished so all it's lacking is her so we'll go ahead and get started okay right here on her door I have her door hanger for the hospital um, I just finished it probably like last week or the week before but right now it's just hanging out on her door waiting to be filled out and so in here is her room I'll show you guys an overview really quickly and then we will go ahead and get started. Okay, right when you walk in her room is her dresser with her changing pad. And then I have just little decorations and stuff right above it. I'll show you. This is a shelf um, that I had made uh, before I made the two with the books in them. This was the one that I had already made like a year or so ago. And I didn't show it to you guys because I wanted to get it completely finished before I showed you anything. So what I have in it is some of her bath stuff, which we have some, um, we got a lot. So there's some everywhere. That's why there's double up here. And then right here I have some stain remover, um, just in case we need to use it in here. Uh, some uh, Boudreaux's butt paste, some wipes some powder and then this is just decoration right here and then above that is these um, vintage pattern covers and then I have a cute little decoration we got at a shower and that's so sweet and then another uh, vintage pattern cover thing um, these frames I got from Target for like three dollars a piece and I wanted white and they're really simple and I didn't do anything to them I just put the pictures in there and I'm really pleased with how they look with everything else <clears throat> and like I said this is her changing pad I have these uh, changing pad liners to put on top of it um, this is a cute little lamp I still need to plug it in I need an extension for behind the dresser but my brother's ex-mother-in-law made this she does stained glass she made a white box with her name on it as well and that's in our room and I'll show that later too. So in this little top drawer <clears throat> right here I have these little cases. I got these at Target. I want to say that they were like four or six dollars a piece. Maybe not even that much but they're perfect. They're really thin and this drawer is not very deep so it's perfect. But in here it has some clips, pacifier um, clip things and these little inch bug things a friend got me they go in like her bottles and sippy cups so all stuff she won't need right now but it's in there and then right here I have some extra uh, changing pad liners wipes wipes there's some spoons outlet covers and we'll get to using those and then I have some diapers laid out in here and then in this one is all kinds of like pacifiers um, this is a temperature pacifier there's a medicine one in there um, her gas drops just things like that um, so yeah these fit perfectly in here that's not for the top drawer this next drawer is really deep it ha it's like two drawers combined so I didn't know how I was going to do it but I found I, I knew I wanted to get baskets but I didn't know what kind and I searched forever and I ended up finding these baskets at Hobby Lobby they were originally $23 a piece I got them on clearance for eight something a piece so that was definitely a score so in this one over here I have all of her um, headbands and hats more headbands and hats things like that stuff that couldn't hang on her bow hanger and then right here is um, little burp cloth right here is um, bigger burp cloth uh, it's like all these kind and then underneath that is all of her bibs so we have tons of bibs some of them match several of her outfits and then over here this is um, a swaddling blanket I have one packed in her bag for the hospital receiving blankets um, extra socks and then this is all like newborn socks and like little mitten things so that's in there 
The next drawer down has all of her onesies and little pants that match her outfits. And I have them organized by size. And I'm sure, I'm sure it won't stay like this forever. But this is how I have it right now. This is all of her newborn. This is zero to three months. Back here is three months by itself. And then this is six months. And some of this is six months over here. And then I have a lot of... Um, sleepers back here that are different sizes. I think I have them in order of like zero to six months. So I know there's some in that one too. And then like I said just little pants that match all her little outfits and things like that on this side. Very bottom drawer has all of her blankets and extra sheets. I have a ton of blankets. I have blankets all over the place. This drawer is literally slammed full. So it is at the bottom for a reason. Okay, um, over here, I just have this crib in the corner. My dad actually made this crib for my mom when she's pregnant with my brother. So it's almost 30 years old. And um, he gave it to me. Still haven't decided if I want to paint it. I kind of kind of want to and then I kind of don't. But right now it's just holding a lot of stuff first. Most of this is stuff that's going to go to the hospital. So this is her bag, and I'm going to do a video on what I have packed in her bag, my bag, and Shane's bag, but that's to come later. And then her boppy that we'll take, and then this is a nursing pillow too, probably won't take that, we'll leave that here. But her little toddler chair, and then um, a play yard thing right there. <coughs> Okay, and then over here is her crib that we ordered from Babies R Us. This is actually the only thing that we purchased for her room. Um, the furniture that I have here and the nightstand to match was given to me by my aunt a long time ago. And we just refinished it. And I just used um, cover stain. Uh, well, I waxed the corners first, and then I used cover stain uh, primer on top of it. It's made by Zenser. Didn't put any kind of clear on it because I like the finish. And then I just took a Dremel with a sander attachment and just sanded right around the corners where all the wax was, and that was it. So it was easy. We also cut the legs down so it'd be a little shorter so I could use it for a changing table. But anyway, so her crib was the only thing we actually purchased. And uh, we got it from Babies R Us. I wanted the, I really wanted an iron one, but there was so much controversy about safety and things like that that I settled for Jenny Lind, and I love it. Um, I was going to make her crib skirt, but I decided not to. This is actually Shane's sister's crib skirt that I'm borrowing. It, uh, it's pale pink. It looks white in here, but it's pale pink. And then just sheets. I haven't gotten the bumper yet. That's one of the things. Well, I'm using, I'm getting one of the mesh ones. Uh, that's one of the things I'm going to purchase with some of the gift cards that we were given. I did make her quilt. I'm still in the process of quilting the top of it. Uh, it's just kind of daunting and I need to get it done and I haven't yet. But I made her quilt and then I have all these extra blankets. Obviously, she is not going to sleep with a blanket. She is also not going to sleep with this stuffed animal. But I just have it in here because I have nowhere else to put it right now. And it looks cute when you walk in here. So... Above her bed is this, uh, it's a wood frame. I got it from Michael's. I think I paid $3, maybe a little less for it because I had a coupon. And I just painted it. The A is from Hobby Lobby. And I just took scrapbook paper and mod podged over it. And I really like how it came out. So... And then right here is my fabric banner. I got the tutorial from Pinterest, and it was really easy to do. My 8-year-old niece helped me do this, and we knocked it out probably in less than an hour, this whole thing. So um, I really love how it came out as well. And then over here I just have some canvases that I painted. Um, my mom used to sing this song to me and my brother all the time, and I loved this show that it was on, and so I decided I wanted her to have it in her room, and... I'm sure I'll sing it to her in all my good singing glory. Over here is just some lyrics from Elton John's song, Your Song. And I just really love this song. And then right here is her little nightstand. I have this lamp over here. Eventually she will have a monitor um, probably somewhere over here. Um, I don't. We haven't decided which kind we're going to get yet. But that's why it's kind of 
empty looking, but I got this lamp at Hobby Lobby. It was originally $40, but they had it marked 50% off, and then the bottom was actually brown, like a bronze kind of finish, and I just took white acrylic paint and mixed it with water and whitewashed over it to give it that antique distress look. And then the flowers had a little brown stone in the center and I ripped it off and put this cute little pink jewel thing on it. And then, oh this lighting is terrible. By the way you guys, I have a new camera on its way. I'm so excited, I can't wait because this one's terrible. Um, I just took some material and folded it up and just kind of stuck it and tuck it all over the place just to give it a little something extra. This little owl right here, I have three actually, but one's in here. It came from Family Dollar after fall, I think last year. I think I paid 25 cents for each of them and they were brown and blue and I painted it white and it just came out so cute so it sits in here. And then this frame over here, it has one of our maternity pictures in it. I got it from a store near us called Gordman's. It's amazing. We didn't have those where we are originally from, but I got this frame. It, I think it's marked for $8.99, but I'm pretty certain I used their continuous 20% off coupon they always have. And so, I really love it. It's so cute. And then in this drawer right here, um, I have some frames, picture frames that I will eventually put out, different things like that. Some of this stuff is stuff that she can't use right now, like this is obviously something for her when she gets older. I have some of the paperwork from a lot of the um, electronic stuff that we have, and then my little belly book I write in sits up here too. And then in this drawer is all this stuff from my showers. I have all my corsages and all the cards from everybody and notes and there's a book in here too that someone gave me that's something I give to her when she gets older so obviously it's just down in there. Okay up here is the shelves that you've already seen. Obviously they're a lot more full with books. I'm so thankful for everyone who gave us books at my showers and wrote the sweetest notes inside of them. Shane and I have slowly been going through some of them and reading them and reading the notes and it's just amazing. Uh, that she'll have the opportunity to see how many people love her and prayed for her before she was even here. <clears throat> right here is this sweet canvas that my friend sent for me with one of our favorite verses. I know you saw it on the bib as well. Um, but I hung it right here when you walk in her room so it's a constant reminder just how precious she is. Right here I have um, my chair. My parents actually got us this chair not long after we found out we were having a girl. Um, I wanted a rocker recliner or a rocker glider is what I wanted. So that's kind of what this does and it spins and twirls and stuff like that. Um, I ordered it from Walmart.com so thankfully I found that one. And then right here is the table that I made um, out of pallets and two by twos. I could not find a table I wanted to buy so I just made it myself. So right now it's just obviously my phone sitting on it and that little basket underneath it has all the chalk for my chalkboard things I do every week. Okay, and right here, I'm just so proud of this piece. Shane and I quickly realized that we needed some more storage in her room and um, vertical storage, not really anything that would sit on the floor. So I drew what I wanted in a shelf and he literally helped me bring it to life. I'll show you all the things that are on it. Up here, just have a picture of one of her little ultrasounds and her sweet little face. Just look at that cute face. That's a pretty old one. And then um, this sweet picture frame that one of my cousins got for us. Uh, another picture frame we got from a shower. Here's my other little lamp I have that someone had made for us. And because it was bigger, I've decided to put it on this shelf. And then up here is a little wood plaque with her name on it. It's just so cute. I did add these little um, flower things from Michaels on it because we used it in our maternity pictures and I wanted everything to kind of match. My mom gave me these books. I'm pretty certain they're from like a thrift store. They're just old vintage books and she wrapped them in the twine. I thought they looked cute like that so I left them. And then right here is their sweet little toms that my sweet friend Courtney got for us and we are dying to get her little feet in them because they're just so cute. This frame came from my sister-in-law's friend, one of her friends, um, got us this and it's just so cute. I love it as well. And then right here are some books that we got at our last shower. 
We got a storybook Bible. We're really excited to start reading that to her. Here's some little boots that my mom got. And this um, mason jar came from my first shower that my sister in law and mother in law put together. And so I just put some fake flowers in it and stuck it right up here. And then over here is a basket of just little toys, different things that we'll eventually use for her, but they're just there for now. This first basket right down here I got at Target. I think it was $6.99. Um, they they kind of hang off my shelf because the shelf was originally supposed to be 12 inches deep, but it was just way too bulky. We figured out. So, whatever. They work. That has extra blankets in it. Right here is a diaper cake that my friend made, and I just don't have the heart to take it apart yet. <laughs> I'm sure eventually I will, but right now I can't. And then here's the other basket we have, and this just has some random stuff in it. Ow, that hurt. Um... It just has random stuff in it right now. This is a bag. Someone got it, so it's got a name on it. I think I'm going to pack some stuff for the hospital in that as well. Um, some disposable bibs, um, diaper disposable bags, cloth diaper things are back here. And then um, this is actually going to be Shane's carrier. We got this at our last shower. I plan to use a tighter wrap, but um, he wanted something, of course, a little more manly, so that's what he got. And then down here I just have diapers, extra diapers, and wipes, um, which also in here, <coughs> in her closet, there's no light, so we'll have to just kind of figure it out. Uh, I have extra diapers and wipes over here in this corner as well. So we're pretty set as far as all that goes. And then I'll show you from the top of her closet, I have my breast pump that was given to me. Um, this is Shane's comforter from when he was a baby. His mom insisted I take it, so it's in this closet because I have nowhere to put it. And then here's some bath stuff, um, her uh, cart cover when we go to the grocery store. I have some bags, cute little bags up there. I hated to throw them away. And then that's a box of Shane stuff we need to get out of here. And then up here, this is all her newborn uh, stuff right up here. All this has been washed for sure, just little outfits. Some of it's my clothes from when I was a baby. That's one of them. But... All that's right there, and then down here is all her clothes, and these range from about three months to 24 months. Some of this still has the tags on it. Some of it I haven't washed completely yet just because it's overwhelming, and I don't know how it's going to work if we're going to need all of it, so I'm just waiting to see. And then down here I just have, I can't really tell, I have this little shelf that's just got some extra stuff in it, diapers, uh, extra stuff right in here. It's a car seat that we have that's also extra. So, I think that is pretty much it for in here. I wanted to show you guys really quickly. In our room, we have this little travel bassinet set up. Shane's grandmother got it for us, and uh, it'll be great for when we make trips home. So, we'll be able to take, take it with us, and it's easily foldable. And like I said in here, my brother's ex-mother-in-law, she made this as well with the lamp that's by her changing pattern there and then I just have a few diapers that there I'm sure there'll be more chaotic stuff in here when the time comes so that's what we have for now in here so. okay guys so that's all I have for you today I hope you really enjoyed this nursery tour I hope that um, you liked everything we did and that um, if you have any questions about how I did anything or how we specifically made anything feel free to contact me um, through any of the social media sites I have listed below and um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. See you guys later. Bye.